Hello and welcome to TK24 Sports. I'm Ty Knight Payton and I'm joined by my special guest, Elliot, all the way from Canada. And today we're going to talk about Arsenal's recent form, the last six games, which is going to include the Champions League. And then we're also going to talk about the upcoming games as well. Yes. And I've got a conspiracy that I'd have shared with Elliot, and Elliot was shocked that this is true. Well, not my conspiracy, but what is going to go and level. So, Elliot, how are you doing today? Okay, you know, uh, after uh, after the shock of midweek and, um, and and all that that entailed, but uh, other than that, you know, it's um, if the, if we're if you're looking for a bad performance, that was the day to do it. Uh, we've had our little repeat, we had a little bump, and now you know uh, we have to go uh, back to a an important match against Newcastle, especially with uh, where our rivals stand in terms of their fixtures. But other than that, getting back to me, I'm good. I'm well. Um, uh, you know, who would eat roof over my head can't complain. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this very quickly mm. so we don't travel on too long. Yeah. So the last few games that Arsenal's had, I'll, I'll go through the last few. Instead of the the game we come back from Dubai, we were looking at the Palace game, the Forest game, then the Liverpool, the West Ham. You know, we had some great results, some great, you know, goals in there yeah. as well. Yes. And the fan base seemed to come back on side. They're like, oh, we're doing great, we're doing this, we're doing that. This is what we're all about again. And then we go to the Champions League game. And then we lose it in the last few seconds for people saying naivety, I just say stupidity from uh, Martinelli. That's, and people are blaming. The, the, the blame can be shared. The blame can be shared. It's among you know, two or three players, anyways. But, you know, it's, it, but it can't be shared, yes. But you say two, three. I'm saying one. Okay. You say why? Okay, maybe we should start out with that. Why do you say one and why do I say three? You go first. Okay. My one is this. Martinelli, Martinelli got the ball. Yeah. Martinelli tried to do Hollywood pass with 20 seconds to go. Try to go Hollywood. Yeah. All right? Diagonal field. Now, if you're going to do that, okay, but make sure you put your laces right through it so it travels across the pitch. Not half-heartedly, it was very, very weak. I, I'm not, not going to buy the, um, he could be tired. If you're tired, you don't do that. You don't go Hollywood. Yeah. Right? You, you, you go Hollywood 20 minutes into a game. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, I do believe that Martinelli is going to learn from this. I do believe it's one of those things that the whole squad will learn from it. Now, the reason why I'm singling out Martinelli and not Raya or Rice is because Raya is... Position in goal was fine, in my, in my opinion. In, well, hold on, in my opinion, people always look to the goalkeeper as the last line of defense, and I get that, yes. But it was a good shot, and people don't give that credit. Now, should should Trossard have shot that and we scored, we'll be saying that's what he does. Yeah, if that was second wise, that's what he does. No goalkeeper can stop that, doesn't matter what goalkeeper it is. But because it's David Wright, mm. it's an issue. Now, if that was Ramsdale in goal, no one would have said anything. Oh, it was just such a good shot. What could, what could he have done about it? Yeah. Now, we've seen David and um, Aaron Ramsdale have screamers scored against him, and no one's criticizing him. Remember the Damari Gray at Everton? At right. Goodison? Right. That what? Remember that day? Yeah. You know, for a lot of it. Not a very good but day as well on that one. Early in ten yeah. Early in right. Arteta's tenure, yes, indeed, yes. Yeah. So as hard as if we look to blame someone, we can look to blame the whole team because the whole team should have done better. But the one who gave the ball away for us to lose was Martinelli. But the one thing I hate, I'm going to tell you to, I'm going to say to you about the fan base, is that people lose their mind after one game. It's like the world is over. They forget it's only 45 minutes in theory because we've got another 45 minutes, well, 90 minutes in theory, second half of this game to play in a couple of weeks. So I'm not dead and buried. Far from it. No, definitely not. Far from it. Definitely not. So I, don't, I don't see why people are jumping on the bandwagon and then trying to make noise for the sake of making noise. This to yeah. sound good. Yes. Because because those same people who are making noise three, four, five weeks ago were all on their knees going, "We're back." I'm sure we're going to get them back in the title race. We beat Liverpool. We beat West Ham. We done Burnley. You know, look at how many goals we scored. Yeah, 21 and only two conceded. Yeah. And then the same people 
that one little goal. Ah, oh, this is why Mikel Arteta our our is rubbish. The team's rubbish. We've got to sack him. We're going to bring someone in. And guess what they can never say? Who to bring in. They can never say what manager to actually bring in. What that manager's style of play is going to be. And then should that manager come in with a new style of play, that means every player has to be sold. Well, not necessarily. I wouldn't say necessarily every player has to be sold. Um, you know, he, he, uh, he'll have a trial. He'll, you know, every, ma- every new manager has a trial period with the players. He'll see who he likes. And from there, he moves on with them or not. Um, as, you, as, as during, his, uh, during uh, Arteta's early period, you know, he, you know, he saw his first team. Uh, Reese Nelson was his first team. But Kyle Saka was in his first team, along with uh, Lacazette and Aubameyang. And uh, he saw the players that he liked. He saw the players that he disliked, and uh, he, you know he kept the what he did and, yeah, and not what he didn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I know I was over talking to you. When Saka, because Saka was just coming through emerging here as a little mm. talent, who has survived in Mikel Arteta with the style of play of football that he wanted? Oh, Reese Nelson did. Uh, who else? I think in Ketcha, and well, in Ketcha was there, but he was in the, he was in the. But that's his son, so of course he's done all the time. And Reese Nelson got sent on loan. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, he had he sent Reese Nelson on loan twice, and he's still with the side. He's still paying a hundred thousand. So again, it, I think that's a a very good wage for it for for. Yeah. Okay, who has survived for Mikel Arteta? I would say Saka, because he was there in the first match. I would say uh, not many. After that, not many. That's my point. Yeah. Get a new manager in, a yeah. new manager is going to want his players like he's going to want his staff, and no fan can really come out and say, that's the manager that needs to come in. It's all so easy to say, Saka Teta, he's done. He hasn't got the credentials. He hasn't got the experience. I hate it. I hate that talk. Yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, there's not many. Oh, listen. There's not many managers who can take Arsenal forward, and as they are, they're you know pretty much managing in Europe. They're pretty much great European uh, managers yeah. already. Like Zidane, Zidane would be one, but he doesn't want to come to England. Uh, who else? Um, you can also say that it's a stretch. Um, it's a stretch. Struggle, right? It's a struggle. Yeah, at a stretch you can say Simeone. At a stretch you can say. Who's going to find me? Who's Saka? Wouldn't even survive me. Simeone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to survive me? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's 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 a very small list of of, of managers who can who can take uh, such a project forward and and you know and especially when you uh, when you have to compete against Pep and. Soon to not be plop in order to uh, win the Premier League, and, and that's never easy. So again, there's very very few managers that can take on the mat. Yes. So who were the three players that you said? We're at life. Okay, Martinelli was one, uh, but again, they still had to score the goal. So we let's let's go now to Rice and let's go to uh, let's go down to Rice and let's go to Raya. Those are the two. Uh, those are the two. Uh, you know, main pieces of 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 the uh, of the goal given away. Now, Rice, I believe he was on a yellow card at the time. Yeah, and he was being very cautious about. It. Now, again, I think it was a it was a it was a foul that wouldn't. It would it would just be a foul in the Premier League, but in Europe, it's it's a yellow card, which you know. Yeah. I, I, and may I say, and may I say, the referee was that was one of the worst refereeing jobs I've seen in a long, 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 long time. I thought European referees were better than this, but they were terrible. They put everything that everything that Porto was selling, he was buying. He was buying it, hook, line, and sinker. And it, 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 it you know, it, again, they have the stat though that the ball was in play only about 51% of the time uh, of, of the match. Like, there were 35 yellow cards. Uh, thir- I think it's 35 yellow cards, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 35. 35. 35 um, pitch. Is that? No, we'll be on the pitch at 35 yellow cards. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But he, I think it was like, he had, he had some exorbitant sum anyways. But it's, it's, you know, I think it was the, uh, it was the, I, uh, the least amount of in, 
uh, you know, uh, the in field play in Europe this season, which was, uh, you know, which was, but listen, uh, getting back to it. So Rice had to guard himself against getting another yellow card, which I, I, I could have very much seen this referee giving, uh, get, uh, giving into that, but the fact of the matter is, yeah, you know, you know, you know the time on the clock. You gotta, you gotta close down that space. That's one thing. You cannot let that shot happen. And number one, he nearly turned his back in order to do it. He kept his hands, in, his hands in the side. You know, I'm back. glad he said that because I was really watching the goals today. Yeah. The, well, the goal. Mm. And the one final thing I hate what players do is they have their hands behind them back already, which is fine. I understand why you do that. But then you turn your body, you away. turn your shot. Well, you know, like that, that old saying that the Americans have, you know, the the Secret Service protecting the president. Protect the president at all shots. No, you throw your body the way the yeah, bullet. Throw your body the ball, yeah. Throw your, bo- way, throw your body in the way of the yeah. because the hand is behind your back, so they're not going to call a handball. And if it's yeah. at the last, minute, the last minute of a shot, you should never turn your back. You should never turn your back anyway. Yeah. So he gave him his back. He gave him his back, and I think, uh, I think if he stood stood up straight and tried to con- uh, and try to close him down in that way, I think I think he could have diverted the shot. I don't think he goes into the top corner. I think he gave him when he turns his side turns to the side that way. He's given him he, uh, you know every license to bend it into the top corner. Now going to Raya. Raya may have been a little forward in terms of uh, in terms of play. He may not have been in the right exact space where he needed to be for the stri- to stop the strike. However, you can't really I mean, listen, there is something to be said about the strike. The strike is, is it's a great strike. It is a great strike. It is a great exactly. strike. Uh but and it, you know it, it and it's worthy of a game winner. Let's 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 face facts. It is worthy of a game winner. And so you can't really blame Raya that much because again two mistakes of higher import were were made uh, before that time, and again, the Martinelli pass, which is a Hollywood pass, let's face facts, it was. But the thing about it is, you have to try those sort of passes in order to win these sort of matches. But it was best for Martinelli to realize, okay, I only have about 30, 20, 30 seconds on the clock. You know, the worst case scenario, we lose this match. Let me just control this. Uh, let me control the ball. Let me dribble with it a bit. Let me make the short pass. Let me make the uh, let, let me make the safe play in order for us to take it home nil nil. And I think that was the best case scenario. So again, uh, in terms of in terms of the biggest uh, mistakes in that, I would equally say Martinelli with the pass, and I would say Declan Rice. He should have closed that space down. I said it from the start. He should have closed that space down. So one one thing I, t- I want to take away from that Porto game is what we have had to change going forward. Mm. They're going to have to work the corners. Yes. Because it's not like we've been found out. You know, we, like, it was not always what we're going to do. You see what they're doing to Ben White. Yeah. Uh, Burnley are doing it, and we're not going to do it against Newcastle. They're going to have to figure out now a new strategy for the corners or mix it up with hand signals or, or gestures and say, okay, we're going to do plan A. Here's plan B. Here's plan C. Like, how yeah. is it in teams? Because Saka's corners are dreadful. They always end up at the goalkeeper. They are, dream- they are dreadful. Well, remember, remember, it was the second corner that gave Saliba his goal in that match against West Ham. Let us remember no. that. No, no, it was Rice. No, that wasn't the Rice corner. That was the second corner. Go back and look at it. It was the no, second corner. It was Rice. He had two assists. Okay. That, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Because it was Gabriel in the first, and was it Rice? No, no, hold on. No, no, no. Go on the computer right now. Go and get this sis up. It was Rice got two. He got one from the corner, one from a free kick. Go on. Go on. Wait a minute. No, I need to see these. Okay, wait a minute. I ain't going to see right like now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So when people are watching, there we go. You got, you know what? You ain't representing it yet. Come on, you should know this. Come on. Uh, now, I, I, I said it was Saka's uh, uh, zero. Uh, I should say. The thing is, it's Rice. It's Rice's corner for Saliba's goal. Okay, let me just see here. Hold on. Bad. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Scoring. Goalkeeper. I... If I can cross the 
I'm on Opta Analysis. Uh, Opta Analyst. Let me see about these stats here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Team stats. Let's go here. Okay. So, yellow card. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. So, assist. It, oh, it was Declan Rice, right? Thank it you. It was Declan Rice. It was Declan Rice. On both goals, it was Declan Rice. Yes. <laughs> Very true. I thought it was. I thought. I thought it was. Uh, okay. Well, besides that point. Besides the point. Besides the point. Sock is not that bad on corners. I think Arsenal scored a few times on some of his corners this year, so he's not that awful. He isn't. They have. They have. They scored on his corners. They have scored on his corners. I know that. So no, you're saying no. They have never. Scored in his corners? I don't think we have this season. No, his, his corners are not... Like, the, the corner takers were Saka. No, no, no. Now you got me here again. No, I... It was, it was Saka and Martinelli, right? And they go Saka and Trossard. And then sometimes it's Odegaard with Saka and Dov- Dovetail when they do that sugar one-two thing. And then, then Declan Rice has been on the corners, and then we started scoring from corners. We don't score from corners when Saka takes him. We don't. We don't. We don't score corners when Saka takes him. Okay. Uh, I see. Yeah. Please Google it. And you guys, you viewers at home watching this, look at it as well. I mean, he's not. He. he, They're getting better. They're getting into the box. They've been the first post, but they always hit the goalkeeper. It's only when we take it from the left hand side with the inner swinger from like, since Rice has been taken, we look more dangerous. Mm-hmm. But we we his corners tend to hit hit towards the penalty area, the penalty spot. Where Sackers is straight on the goalkeeper where he's got a better reach and it should have played a jump up or should have been one just nudging as like as he likes to do, it's a free kick. Well listen. I would we say oh no, corner assist. I'm still looking for that because I know we score. We we we've done it. I know we've done it. You're not gonna find it. You're not, you're not gonna find it. Hold on, hold on. I got this YouTube thing here. It may be able to uh give me some sort of okay. Well, I'm gonna mute it so I can just okay. Da, 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 da. Um, Why are you doing that? Why are you looking? This is what people talking. Oh yeah, keep talking. Keep talking. So I think for the Newcastle game, we, we have to change our corners up. We're going to have to. And I know against Newcastle at 8 o'clock at the Emirates tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to go guns blazing. This team is going to go crooked. It's going to go, go gun blazing. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Well, we need a win. We, we, uh, listen, we need a win uh, on Saturday night because we know that Liverpool have already won and City will win. Uh, I very much doubt that that's going to change. So again, we need to win on uh, on Saturday. We need to win. I, I we need to win the next three matches, next four matches, uh, going Oops. towards uh, the 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 match against um, match against Man City at the Etihad. The There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. There's no room for error. So this is our, this, this is our running, right? So it's Newcastle, right? What, look, I'm going to try to get your ideas on this. So it's, what's your thoughts on the Newcastle game? I lose. think we'll win. I think we'll win that. Uh, Newcastle dealing with a lot of injuries. Although I heard that uh, Isaac is back. Uh, I heard that um, Isaac and another player are back in contention for uh, for the match. So that will bring a a different um, a, a different look on things. However, I see Arsenal winning that match. I do. Okay, let me go to Sheffield United. Sheffield United, yeah, that's if you if you can't be Sheffield United is one of the worst teams in Premier League history. And that should be it. That, that should be, be three points up and down. Uh, yeah, Thank you. twelve goals, twelve goals, and then and then we entertain Brentford at home. That should be a win. Brentford, Brentford at home should be a win. That should be three points. If you can't, if you can't, if you can't beat Brentford at home, then then, then something's wrong. Definitely wrong. Yeah, then we got Chelsea at home. That should be another win. Uh, okay. Chelsea, uh, although tough, let me say this: Chelsea have slightly turned it around. I I really liked the performance against Man City. I really, really did. 
Uh, yeah. They could have won that match. I think Pochettino really ruined it, uh, ruined it with his substitutions. I think if he kept uh, an attacking team out there, he could have won that match. But he decided to uh, he decided to you know uh, play it safe, and it, it cost him. It cost him a win. I think it cost him a win. I, I mean, it's good to, good on him to get the draw, but it cost him a win. Okay. Then we then we go to City. Oh, here we go. Uh if we're in a rich band form, we can win that match. It'll depend on our form. If we are it yep. Yeah. If if we if we are in a rich band form, we win that. If we are uh, if we are on uh uh if we are on a downer, we will lose that. We will lose that. That's the thing. We have to be that's why I said the momentum's gotta carry us into that match for us to win it. Then we then we got Luton at home. Tough game. Luton not really. Luton are terrible at home. Uh, if we were, remember at their place, they are world beaters out there. I, I, and 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 credit to Luton actually, they they've done really well in their first season back. Uh, but again, I would um, I would definitely say that we should have a win against Luton. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Then we go. Then we go to Brighton. Okay, this this is where it gets fun. So mm-hmm. let's have this. Yes. So from the Luton game at home. City's then got Aston Villa at home, and then Liverpool's got Sheffield United at home. Then, this is where all the games are synced into each other. Right. The Liverpool, the Liverpool could have United away, mm-hmm. go to Palace away, then we go to Brighton away. All tricky games. Then, Liverpool are at home to Palace, City are at home to Luton, and then we then have Aston Villa at home. Then, Liverpool go to Fulham away, City go to Spurs away, and we go to Wolves away. Then Liverpool Holy shit. go to West Ham away, City go to Forest away, we go to wow. Spurs away. <laughs> yeah, got it. Ah, I see, I see one corner. There it is. It was against Crystal Palace. I got it. I got it. I knew it was there. It was against Crystal Palace. We scored on a corner. There it is on a sack on a sack of corner. There you go, bang, got it. I know we got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. All right, and then Liverpool, Liverpool then entertain Spurs at home. Mm-hmm. City entertain Wolves at home, and we entertain Bournemouth at home. Then second last game of the season, Liverpool have Villa away. City go to Fulham away. We go to United away. Last game of the season. Liverpool then go then entertain Wolves at home. City entertain West Ham at home, and we entertain Everton at home. Like mm. a crazy thing out of this, right? How do the big fixtures manage to get all our games synced up like this? It's us we go into a title run. So every weekend we both face the same the all same difficult challenges away or home, away or home, away or home. And that is and that's interesting to me. Yeah. Because no one, no team has an advantage. Oh, this team's away this week, and this these teams are at home. So it's no, you're all playing away, you're all playing at home on a supposedly dates, again, depending on um you, if we're still in Europe, if Liverpool will be still in Europe, City will still be in Europe. They, they may change it up. They may change it up. We never know. But we all play same day, same home or away. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it could go to their last three games of the season. Sure, you can. sure you can. Absolutely. It can indeed. It can. Um, it can go either way. But uh, level the level of difficulty is the same. But I, again, I think it will be decided in the head to head. If we yeah. do our job, uh, Liverpool, I remember City still have to go to Liverpool, and we're done. And we're done with Liverpool. So you know uh, that that's a feather in our cap that we got four points from Liverpool. So that's great. It's just I think that piv- the pivotal matches will be us against uh, us against City and uh, City against them. Those are the two. Two matches outside the league. Well, one way or another, we'll all be, we'll play each other. 
Yeah. So that I think when we play all each other, mm. I think it all draws. I think no no team, as much as they want to win, I think there's gonna be draws. But I think no team is gonna to want to be stupid enough to get to like we're not gonna be dumb enough. Well, we should be dumb enough to do another Porto, if that makes sense. Right. We shouldn't, but uh it can happen. But I think, I think I think we're too clever for that this year. I think I think uh, Mikel has really uh, built the side, built for the long haul, uh, yeah. and with players still coming back like Jesus, like Zinchenko, like Tomiyasu, uh, and like Partey. Partey is going to be very yeah. important, extremely important for the stretch run. And uh, and and if yeah. you heard the press conference today, he again reiterated we we want to make sure he's properly prepared for the stretch run because we're going to need him. We're definitely going to need him. We, if, if there was a, a match that was crying out for Partey, it was the last match against Porto. Absolutely. Yeah. I, my worry is with Porto, and I said last season we should have sold him. Maybe the funds weren't there or the buys weren't there or his case, whatever. Um, should have said that, really. Can't be proven. That's on you, man. Come on, you cool today. I see that. Jesus Christ, going for the juggler, are you? Bloody hell, mate. Okay, so if we look at the plays that's due to come back, so you said it already. We've got Jesus, Zinchenko, Tommy Asu, Timber, Vieira. That's, that's, that's a good... Even if they were on the bench, right? If they were on the bench, there are five options, six options to come on. Or again, in the rotation of it as well. Mm. It, do, it does give us a good chance. My worry is party is going to be lacking fitness. Timber's going to be lacking fitness, and, and both in game sharpness as well. Yeah. Jesus, there's, there's a worry there for me that knee. Oh, if there's a match that cried out for Jesus, it was last against Porto. My goodness, he would have... It, it, we needed his ball control. We needed his his attacking play. We needed his, you know, his, his, dribble, his dribbling ability because it, the, the centre-backs of Porto were not troubled. No, and, and this is my worry, is it's not a worry, but is what we just need these guys back quickly so we can have options. Mm. We can have options because we you saw against Porto, we were running out. We 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 didn't have we didn't have the options. Okay, we had Eddie on the bench. We had Smith Rowe. We had Vieira there, but he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. And then when you look at it, there's nothing else. But bringing those guys back, then all of a sudden the squad looks good. Yeah, it looks it looks, healthy. It looks healthy. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy with uh, how the squad is uh, has turned out at the moment. And uh, again, if you remember from last year, this is the time when we were uh, obtaining injuries, especially to the likes of Saliba and Tomiyasu. And yeah. uh, and Zinchenko was not exactly in the best of health either. So um, I'm glad that they're coming back at the right time uh, mm-hmm. for the run. Uh, and I think uh, the you know the training staff have all you know made sure that uh, these. Their returns, uh, you know, synchronized with our biggest matches upcoming, and uh, and I think, I think, you will see most of these uh, these uh, of these missing players outside of I would say Timber. I would see before that Porto match. Yeah. That match right there, you will see a lot of them return, and uh, I mean, you'll get a primer. I think we're playing Sheffield. Perfect, perfect opportunity to blood these guys in. Yes, 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 hundred percent. I think. Yeah. But okay, how far do you think we're going to go in the Champions League? Do you think we, your in your honest opinion, not just mm-hmm. from a fan, of course we're going to yeah. get through. But yeah. do you think we're going to get through against Porto? At the end? I think I think we're one of the, listen when we are when we are you see, Porto played a certain way to try and disadvantage us. And that was, you know, it, it was it was a, a Simeone Mourinho masterclass where, you know, you, you, if you know you have there's better talent on the other side, what do you do? You take, you, you know, uh, kick the ball into touch, you make a cheeky foul, you rotationally foul, you uh, drop it every turn, you try to time waste. That's it. And then nick a goal and then defend for your life. That's it. And uh, and so, in, but in answer to your question, I think we'll get through Porto. I think uh, the home, the home side, and the home, uh, and the, uh, the our, our home ability. I think we made it into a fortress again, and I think we will, we will indeed uh, get uh, that win and uh, move forward. 
But uh, in terms of our chances going forward, I would say uh, I'm looking for a quarterfinal, semifinal run. I really am. I really am. Finals, I'm not going to say that just yet. Depends on the draw. But I think we're better than most of the teams in the Champions League right now. I really do. I think I, two teams that I say uh, that people would say are better than us are not better this year, PSG and Bayern, and Bayern Munich. I do not see anything that scares me from Bayern Munich right now. I do not see a thing. Not a thing. And I think we're going to get semis. And it's at Wembley this year. Like, like, everything, like Everything's written in the stars, right, for the Arsenal and City final. And then, I'll tell you, we'll get to the semis. We will get PSG. Oh, hold on. Who's PSG up against? Who, is they, who do they play already? Uh, right now they're playing... Oh, good question. Hold on. Uh, hey, so I watched that game. It was uh, PSG were at... Uh, let me see. Is it... Uh, let me see. PSG, Hold on. There we go. And they are... Uh, where is it now? Sociedad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Sociedad. Okay, so I watched that game. I wasn't that impressed with PSG. I wasn't yeah. impressed with Bayern because Bayern are, Bayern are something. Oh, my goodness. That team. They are, they're a shadow of their former selves. A lot of their, a lot of their, uh, you know, their top players are, uh, are, uh, you know, aging out. Uh, the li- the likes of Noya, likes of, um, what's it now? Uh, well, a lot of the, okay. Well, a lot of their older players are aging out. And look who they have up front. They have uh, the, the the good luck charm that is, you know, Harry Kane. Okay. okay. So this this is my prediction. Semi final. Yeah. Semi-finals will be Real Madrid, uh, Man City, Arsenal, PSG. City, Arsenal, Real Madrid, and PSG. Yeah, and Arsenal will Arsenal will get PSG. Okay. Arsenal, Arsenal will get PSG. Yeah. And City will get uh, Real Madrid. I can I can see it. It's it's bro, I'm telling you, it's poised. It's poised. You know, we got to do our jobs. We got to do our jobs. I'd love to see that. I think it'd be a very good season in Champions League if we get to the semi final in our first season. And, um. I think we'll beat PSG. It's not happened. So people are like, we haven't got past Porto yet. So how can you be calling that we're going to get to the semi? I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I, apart from, I, I, yeah, apart from Mbappe, I do not, I'm not afraid of any of the, uh, any of the PSG. I'm not. You know, if the only way we're going to get done, if I. Should we get PSG? So let's let's put it. So we're getting PSG. The only way Mbappe is going to get any luck is he's got to run through the channels. Yeah. Believers going to take him out. Gabriel will put him in the head of all day long. So the only the only scary part is no, you know he come on, you know. So the only part is you have Ben White and Ben White's nasty. You know that guy's nasty, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we have a yeah. He'll give, punch, he'll give you a punch on the way down. That's Ben White. Ben White's nasty. The the only thing. So in, the, in those games, you'll, you'll want Tommy Asu to be back, but Tommy Asu will deal with um, Dembele easily. Do you know what I mean? And then you bring yeah. Sengchek on later on. You know, when I look at yeah. our defence, we're solid. We are, we are made for Europe. Our team is made for Europe. Yeah, we have one of the best uh, defensive sides in Europe. Uh, that goes without saying. Uh, but yes. uh, again, uh, the proof's in the pudding. We got we to gotta pro- show and prove on uh, three weeks hence. And uh, let everybody know that we are ready. We are serious to win this. Uh, to win this Champions League this year, and again, it, and it's all it's all about the luck of the draw, really. You know what I mean? Um, we see where we stand in in the next draw, uh, but again, let's take care of business with Porto next. Yes, 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 yes. But listen, that was a that was a nice little catch up. Yes, so we got a new we got a new parcel tomorrow. Yes, time prediction a. 3 0 win. Oh, you're bullish. Jesus. 3 0. Remember, they didn't play in midweek, so they're going to make it hard on us. I say 2 0. I say 2 0. I don't think that, you know, um, if not 2 0, then 3 1. But they're going to, you know, I, I, I don't see it being a larger, uh, a larger lead than three goals. Uh, I don't see that. But I, see, I, see I, see that. I, I don't see it larger than two goals myself. I, t- I, t- I tell you what's going to happen. We are going to run out of the blocks. Because of Porto, we're going to shut a lot of people up and say, okay, Porto was a blip. Hollywood mm-hmm. passed out. Arsenal are back. 
They blitz Newcastle, and then they'll make the excuses for Newcastle with their little injuries. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, come eight o'clock, by five past eight, one nil. <laughs> we will wow. score the goal. Wow. I'm telling you, we're, we are just going. So are you saying we're going to blitz them? Pardon? You're saying that we're going to blitz them? Yeah, we're, we're, we're just, they're, they're just going to, this team, people talk about their mentality this weekend, our Texas. I hate that, I hate that crap. Mm-hmm. You'll you will see you'll see them just bounce back, right? And then people say, "Oh, why have you done that against Porto?" When you're playing against European teams, you don't always play against. Yes. There's different tempos. There's different referees. Yeah. Yep. So there's different circumstances. Yep. And should we got that nil nil, we'd have been jumping up and down saying, oh, "Okay, but we're going to pitch Newcastle because the, the team is hurting." Believe me when I say this: the team is hurting. Those players are hurting. Right. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's my yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Any, any other thoughts for yourself? Uh, you know, it's 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 going to be a bit of a tussle because these guys, again, have had the week off. They've had all that time to prepare and, and, and get ready for us. I think if we had the same amount of rest, then yes, indeed, I would see three goals and above. But right now, I think it's um, – I think we'll get one early. I think we'll get one in the – Middle of, middle of the week. Other than that, I'm just yeah. going to stick to the 2 0, if not 3 1 uh, score lines. Because again, I don't see Newcastle having much force. They don't have, to, uh, they have a raft of injuries right yeah. now. They're decimated by injuries with the likes of um, uh, Ed, uh, Eglinton, uh, uh, Eglinton, and also it was Isaac for a time there. Uh, a few other players as well. They, they have like about 13, 14 injuries, in, including Tanali, who has his uh, his gambling suspension. So, yeah. uh, only Newcastle, eh? Jesus Christ. They're the ones to pick the gamblers. Anyways, so, I know, I know, I know. Fair thought for Tanali. Anyways, but um, other than that, it's... um. You know, it's pretty much the same, uh, the same sort of house side. I was coming there to time waste. I was coming there to, to, to do dark arts in order to beat up on Arsenal. And um, it is hoped that we get the job done. But I don't see it getting done by, by more than two goals. Okay. There we have it. Eddie yeah. Clifford winning. I'm saying one minute. I'm saying 3 0. Eddie's saying 2 0, 2 1, 3 1. He, yeah. he can't make it. It's still a win. I say 2 0. If, if, if my gun held in my head, 2 0. Okay, there you go. 2 0, 3 0, and we'll catch up again. Yes. Anyway, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on today. No worries. No worries at all. Uh, hopefully, we get a win uh, tomorrow night, and then on to the next match after that is, I believe, Sheffield United. Sheffield United. Is it Sheffield? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sheffield. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's Sheffield. Yes, that's right, because we yeah, are on the road. Yeah, we are Sheffield, yes. yes. That's crazy. There's 12 points there I'm looking to get. When I say I'm yeah, we need, all the points before, we need all the points before City. All the points, all the points, all the yeah. points. Indeed. All right, my man. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. it. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the match tomorrow. Where, where, where will you be watching it? At home, or are you heading to the match yourself? No, nah, my home. My home. Yeah. home. Fair enough. Yeah. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't take, I ain't taking out a second mortgage towards Arsenal. Uh, I took out two mortgages already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Nice one. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Take Thanks. care.